In our laboratory, we have uh, investigated three main topics, tissue engineering, nanomedicines, and diagnostics. I would like to introduce one of our research projects. Tissue engineering has been progressed since 1992 and can regenerate lost tissue or destroyed parts of organs. The porous and membrane scaffolds that can attach cells and differentiate stem cells are of great importance to realize tissue engineered bone, cartilage, cornea, and any other tissues and organs. In these scaffolds, collagen and apatoid are very interesting and important substances due to its existence in our body. For example, bone is composed of apatite and collagen nanocomposite and makes a hierarchical structure. On the other hand, the corneal stroma has a unique lamellar stacking structure in which the aligned collagen fibers are oriented at 90 degrees to the next layers. To regenerate the multifunctionality of these tissues, the bio-inspired methodology is a key technology for the production of next-generation biomaterials. In our investigation, we have developed biomaterials and technologies to make the similar structures and functions with our tissues and organs. To realize the tissue engineering and biomaterials, we collaborated with medical doctors and biologists. The cooperation with medical and engineering fields is very important. We have focused on type 1 collagen extracted from tilapia fish skull because fish has no infection virus to human beings. Tilapia lives in warm fresh water and the skull collagen shows the highest denaturation temperature at 36 degrees Celsius than other fish extractions and has a similar denaturation temperature with human collagen. Here, denaturation means the change of collagen to gelatin, and gelatin shows no biofunctionalities. We discovered the tilapia uh, skull collagen be a very useful substances and transferred our collagen extraction technology to industry. Interestingly, the structure of collagen fibers in fish skull is very similar to that of human corneal stroma. So we hope the investigation of fish scar will be useful for the reconstruction of corneal stroma. The fish collagen has a very unique characteristics, rapid fibrogenesis, high tensile strength, and high water retention in the material point of view. On the other hand, in the biological point of view, the fish collagen has a good cell adhesion and the ability to differentiate human stem cells to osteoblasts. Furthermore, the nanocomposite of apatite and collagen can accelerate the bone regeneration. The unique characteristics of fish collagen would be useful for the cosmetic substance. We have already made cosmetics including the fish collagen. In the next step, we would like to produce the other products such as cell culture substrates, scaffold for tissue engineering, and implantable biomaterials.